Ooh, ooh. Go Tigers! Hello everybody, my name is Zukmar, this is Hot Mode, and today I'm going to be talking about my experience as a freshman and in my first semester at the Fashion Institute of Technology. So, I am going to just kind of like go over my experiences and what I like did and like, you know, all that kind of stuff and like, I'm just gonna give you a little background info on me. So I am from Staten Island, which is a borough in New York City, and I did four years of high school in New York City, like Manhattan, on 14th Street, not on 14th, on 16th Street. So I was really, really close to FIT, and I kind of already had, like, the city mojo to begin with, like, and I was hanging out in the city all the time at night, going to parties, and then... The summer before I started at FIT, I did an internship and lived in the city. So I was, like, very prepared for the whole idea of, like, going to school in New York, yada, yada, yada. Um, I also was very involved in the fashion industry previous to me starting FIT. I started a fashion blog going into my junior year, and it was a street-style photography blog called Halt the Mode, a.k.a. Halt the Mode. I started shooting at Fashion Week and doing street style, and then I started to shoot every day I would finish school, go to places like Soho, the Meatpacking District, and take pictures of different people on the street. So that started, and then I started to work for a fashion magazine based in London called Pause Online. Then I started to post the pictures on Instagram and people like Eva Chen and Brian Boy and most recently this morning Man Repeller all put me onto their Instagrams so that happened and then um, I started to work with Brian Boy the January of 2015 and I was shooting for his fashion blog and I still do and he's in New York so I'm very, like, involved, and then I even did an internship over the summer where I worked at a photography, stylist, um, makeup and beauty artist, uh, agency. So I've been very involved in the past, like, two and a half years with the fashion industry. So I went to a very rigorous high school, which was college preparatory high school in New York. Um, very well known people like Al Roker and like one of the Supreme Court justices went there so it's like very well known and that's not me like bragging it's just like it was just what happened so when I applied I was like so scared I was not gonna get into FIT because the acceptance rate is like 40% I am an advertising marketing communication designer and then I lived with well I still live with two other people that I that were fashion business so, we all lived in a suite in Alumni Hall. So that was like the, f so like let's just get to moving in I guess. So, well I guess I'll just talk about admissions in reality. So just for like for you guys that are going to be applying to FIT, I think the most important thing is experience. The people that are, you know, reading your admissions want to know that you are dedicated to the fashion industry, like they really want to know that you want to work and live and like breathe fashion. So if you're like a freshman in high school, like start now, like start like working at a store that's, you know, like, you know, if you have a thrift store, like start working at a thrift store, you know, try and do an internship over the summer. Um, I, even though I took pre-college classes at FIT, so, like, they love stuff like that that shows your dedication to the industry. Um, I think your grades are still important. Yes, your grades are important. The thing was, my GPA probably would have, like, been different had I went to a different high school. I think I would have, like, been doing a lot better. But my high school was very rigorous, so, like, an 82 at my school is probably, I don't know, like, an 88 or, like, 89 somewhere else, maybe. So I think that's also a thing, they knew my school, and that's kind of, like, they understood, like, my, the, 
my grades were low for my school, but high probably for other schools. So, just definitely try to get as much experience as possible when you're going to apply to FIT because they want to see that. They just want to really see that you're dedicated. So that's like the admissions thing. My, like, I also talk about tuition too. I don't pay my tuition. I'm in state, so I know my tuition is 8000 a year, which is not that much compared to A, a lot of other colleges, and B, compared to like places like Parsons and LAM, which if you can afford to go to Parsons, definitely go to Parsons. Like really, if you can afford to go there, I would honestly say go there. And if you can afford, I mean, LAM is kind of like, don't go to LAM. Like, honestly, I'm really like stressing that. Do not go to LAM. Like, it's n it, I I know people that are literally asking me like, how do I get into FIT? I need to transfer out of LAM. So like, I don't think you should go there. Then I live in the dorms for a whole year. So I think it was like, I don't know how, I think it's 16,000 for the whole year. So it's like 8,000 a semester. Um, and it's nice because you live across the street from the dorms, but it's also like, they're super strict on a lot of things. Like you'll never be able to go to a party at FIT ever. Like you will never, like you can't, I don't think you're allowed to smoke cigarettes outside, but like everybody does. But like you can't have any like drug paraphernalia. You can't even have like a wine glass. And I mean like, I just like to drink out of like anything out of a wine glass, like a water. Love to drink out of wine glass because it's fun. But like if the RAs come in like and you have that, like they're gonna write you up. But the thing is, FIT is also, it depends on your RA as well, so that's that. But, yeah, I mean, live here for the first year, make your friends, like, do that if you can, but after that, get out. If, if it's at all possible, get out, because it's, it's a buzzkill. It's really, like, a buzzkill. I have a great RA, so she's not a buzzkill at all, but... Like, I've heard horror stories about that kind of stuff, too, so. But, um, yeah, like, going out in New York, if you want to go out, you have to find places that either, A, will take your fake ID. If you're a girl, like, it's kind of easy because you just get your fake ID and your promoter and, like, you're fine. But if you're, like, a young gay boy very difficult to do any of that stuff. So, do keep that in mind. It's really not like any other college you will go to. It's, well, maybe like fashion colleges in the city are like this, but like you have to f find your own fun. Like really have to find your own fun. So, yeah, it's like you're never gonna go to like the volleyball games. Like you, j it's just not like a real college. Like, it's like going to work, but you know, you're still in college. So you're not, you're, you know, it's just not like that. Like people don't leave their doors open in the dorms because, you know, something might get stolen. Like I've, like I remember one time the security opened our door and said, you guys need to start locking your door. And we were like, well, we're in here. And they were like, it doesn't matter. You need to lock your door because it's like, it's just, it's very not college. Like it's not like any other people's college. I know. I guess I'll talk about the people. It is like 95% girls, and the other 5% is, no, well, I guess the other 4% is like gay boys, and the other 1% is straight boys. So it is very difficult, A, to make friends with boys at school because everybody like really thinks highly of themselves, which is hard for you to make friends, definitely. I know that personally. Um, but. It's really, like, it's also not that friendly of an environment. Like, you really have to, like, in your first week, make your friends. Like, make your friends because you're not going to make any after that. Like, it's really hard. And at FIT, either you're, like, a have or a have not. If you're a have not, you want to work at Macy's for the rest of your life. If you're a have, you want to do lots of other things. But it, it's very, like... It's a bit catty, it's a bit, you know, 
like, I'm better than you, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. It's like, it's, it's a lot of people shoving a lot of things in your face. I'm not going to say that I'm not one of those people, because I might have done that once or twice. But this is the fashion industry, and this is like, this is like the high, this is like the high school of the fashion industry. Like, you know, you gotta like know your people, you gotta know what you want to do with yourself, because these are people you're going to be working with for the rest of your life. So, prepare yourself. It's not going to get any easier than this. So definitely understand that about the people, but I, I have made lots of friends. I have to say that I've made lots of friends because there are a lot of, lot of good people. It's just a lot, a lot, a lot of the good people are hidden behind. Well, a lot of people hide behind like different things because I think everybody at FIT is a little bit insecure, myself totally included, because like you just don't know how to deal with that kind of stuff. So. You know, it's like being away from home, but you also have to be competitive, and it, it's like a lot of stuff. So don't let, like, the people aspect deter you from it, because it's not that bad at all. In reality, I make it sound super dramatic, but it can get a little bit iffy at times. But for the most part, like, I really have, like, my core group of friends who I love so, so much. Like, my roommates my, the girl, like, Jenny and Isabel and Rose and Nicole who live next door to me, and then the beret bitches of 9A, Sammy, Michaela, Casey, and Kaylee who live also in my building. So, like, and then I have my friends from classes who, like, I, you know, if you're a very talkative person, you are going to make friends easily. If you're not that talkative a person, I would suggest trying your hardest to, like, put yourself out there, because it does get kind of tough to make friends. So, let me talk about the classes now. So, as an advertising major, I went into it and everybody was like, oh, this is going to be so hard. It really was not that hard for me. I didn't get like the, I didn't get like a 95 in every class, like definitely not, you know. And I also am not looking to get a 95 in every class, but the professors are always a hit or miss. Always check rate your professor before you apply for a class because it really does determine how the whole experience goes. Um, this semester I kind of just picked professors willy-nilly based on like my schedule because I wanted like Monday and Tuesdays off and that's what I got but I also did not have the easiest of professors. Um, so I took an a marketing class with a professor who was like still in the industry like you know had worked at forums, worked at people so he was very able-bodied in kind of getting everybody like an internship and doing that kind of stuff but we had to take a state exam in that class and we weren't really prepared well for that I got a 60 on that exam which, I mean, I'm not, like, ashamed of, and my professor was even, like, I don't, you know, there's no way for him to kind of teach us this stuff. It was very, like, a lot of them were, like, trick answers and all that kind of stuff. That was fine. I took an InDesign class, which is a Photoshop kind of program. That was fun, a bit stressful at times, but also fun. It was fine, you know, I got through it. Then I took a fashion business class, which was required for my major. Um, also fun, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. I will answer them because I think college is so important in getting into your favorite college, if FIT is your favorite college, that you should totally do that. So I hope I answered all your questions. Please leave them in the comments below. Hit that like button, y'all. Subscribe. And I love you all. See you soon. And I hope you all get into FAT if you're going to apply. So, T-T-Y-L.